Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video we are going to solve one very very interesting question from radical equations for the real values of x. So let's get started by writing denominator cannot be 0. So our answer x cannot be negative 11. Now we can write our equation is square root 1 minus x. This will be equal to 5 plus x times 11 plus x. Now I will simplify our RHS. So I can write the square root 1 minus x equal to 5 times 11, 55. 5 times x, 5x plus 11x plus x square. Or we can write x square plus 16x plus 55. This will be equal to x square plus 16x. 55 we can split 64 minus 9. This is 55. Now from first three terms x square plus 16x plus 64. We will write this is x plus 8 whole square. And then we have minus 9. Now we have x plus 8 in RHS. Let's write in LHS also. So I will write 9 minus x plus 8. If I will simplify 9 minus x minus 8, which will give us 1 minus x. Now we have x plus 8 in LHS, x plus 8 in RHS. Let us say x plus 8 equal to suppose u. So I can write our equation square root 9 minus u will be equal to u square minus 9. Let me write this equation here. The square root 9 minus u will be equal to u square minus 9. Now I will consider squaring both sides so that square root will be over power 2, power 2. So this is square root and square will be cancelled out from left hand side. We will write equation 9 minus u equal to u square minus 9 whole square. Now we will consider second substitution. 9 equal to a. So this equation we will write a minus u equal to u square minus a whole square. Now we will expand RHS. We can write u power 4 plus a square minus 2a u square. LHS is A minus U. Now we will try to maintain equation which will be quadratic in A. Let me write all the terms to RHS first. So I will write A square first. Then we will be writing minus 2A U square. Then we can write minus A. Then we are having two terms U power 4 plus U. Other side would be 0. Once I will take a common from second and third term. So I will write our equation 2u square plus 1 times a. Then we will write u power 4 plus u equal to 0. Now you can see this is one quadratic equation in a. If I will write a a square plus b a plus c equal to 0 and if I will compare these two equations we will get a equal to 1 b equal to minus of 2u square plus 1 and c equal to u power 4 plus u. Now we can apply quadratic formula. Let me write formula here. So I can write here 
a will be equal to minus b plus minus the square root of b square minus 4ac over 2 times a. Let's apply all the values. If I will write the value of a, b and c. So a will be equal to 1. b was minus of 2u square plus 1 and c was u power 4 plus u. I will write a will be equal to minus b. So 2u square plus 1. This is minus b plus minus the square root of b square. So I will write 2u square plus 1 whole square. Minus square is plus. Minus 4 times 1 times c is u power 4 plus u. Denominator is 2 times a, so I can write only 2. Now we have to simplify. 2u square plus 1. As it is, plus minus the square root of. Now we will expand a plus b whole square. We can write 4 times u power 4 plus 1 plus 4u square minus 4u power 4 minus 4 times u and denominator is 2. Now this term and this term will be over. We will write 2u square plus 1 plus minus square root of 4u square minus 4u plus 1. Denominator is 2. Now you can see the radicand in the numerator. 4u square minus 4u plus 1. This is again one perfect square of 2u minus 1. Let me write 2u square plus 1 plus minus square root of 2u minus 1 whole square. Denominator is 2. Now we can cancel a square root with this square. And we will get the value of a. a was 9. Let me write here. a equal to 2u square plus 1 plus minus. I will write 2u minus 1 in the bracket over 2. Now we will write two values. So first value would be 2u square plus 1 plus 2u minus 1 over 2. And second value would be 2u square plus 1 minus 2u plus 1 over 2. Now plus and minus 1 will be over. Now we will take 2 common from the numerator. So u square plus u over 2. And here also we will take 2 common. So in the bracket we will get u square minus u plus 1 over 2. So this 2 and 2 will be over. We will get a which was equal to 9 equal to u square plus u. And here I will write u square minus u plus 1. So from here we can write two equations. First one u square plus u equal to 9. So quadratic will be u square plus u minus 9 equal to 0. And here I will write u square minus u plus 1 equal to 9 or we will be getting u square minus u minus 8 equal to 0. So we have two quadratic equations. Let us solve. I will write u square plus u minus 9 equal to 0. So I will apply quadratic formula once again minus b so we'll write minus 1 plus minus the square root of 
b square so 1 square minus 4 times 1 times minus 9 over 2 times 1 so we can write minus 1 plus minus a square root of 1 plus 36 over 2 or we can write minus 1 plus minus a square root of 37 over 2. So we have two real values. We will check later which value we are going to accept and which value we will reject. Now we will consider second quadratic equation u square minus u minus 8 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula once again. u will be equal to minus b. So minus of minus 1, 1 plus minus the square root of minus 1 a square which is b square minus 4ac 4 times 1 times negative 8 over 2 times 1 so i can write 2 will be equal to 1 plus minus a square root of 1 plus 32 over 2 or we can write 1 plus minus a square root of 33 over 2 Again, we are having two real values. Now, out of four values, we have to accept as per our solution would be real. Now, I will write here our equation square root 9 minus u equal to u square minus 9, which we can write u plus 3 times u minus 3. Now for solutions to be real, we can write two conditions. First, this radicand must be positive. Second, RHS must also be positive value. So from LHS condition, I can write U must be less than 9. And from RHS condition, I can write U less than minus 3 and U greater than 3. Now we will intersection both the conditions, both the inequalities. So let's find the intersection of these two conditions. We can write u must be less than negative 3 and u should be in the interval 3 to 9. So this is our final condition which will give us to pick the correct solution. Now I will write the value of u. u was minus 1 plus minus is square root 37 over 2 and 1 plus minus is square root 33 over 2. Now I will write the approximate values of answers. So I will write here minus 1 plus is square root 37 over 2 approximately 2.51 minus 1 minus is square root 37 over 2 approximately minus 3.51 1 plus root 33 over 2 approximately we will write 3.4 and last value 1 minus root 33 over 2 we will get approx value minus 2.4 now we will cross check from this condition u should be in the interval 3 to 9 or u should be less than minus 3. We will reject two values, first and last. So these two will be our accepted solutions. So I will write u equal to minus 1 minus root 37 over 2 and 1 plus root 33 over 2. Now we have to calculate the value of x. Substitution was x plus 8 equal to u. So x will be equal to u minus 8. So I will write direct value of x here minus 8. So minus 1 minus 16 
माइनस सेवनटीन माइनस रूट थर्टी सेवन ओवर टू दिस वुड बी अवर फर्स्ट सोल्यूशन एंड वंस आई विल डू माइनस एट हेयर वन माइनस सिक्सटीन सो आई विल राइट माइनस फिफ्टीन प्लस रूट थर्टी थ्री ओवर टू सो दीज आर अवर टू सोल्यूशन आई होप फ्रेंड्स यू विल लाइक दिस वीडियो थैंक यू सो वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग Do not forget to subscribe our channel. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.